Provo Beast here doing an, another install today. Today we're doing a sub on a Pontiac G6. This is a 2009 model. It's about the last model year that they produced this vehicle. With this installation, we're putting in a 12 inch Pioneer sub, 300 watt RMS. He climbs 1300 watt peak. It's a single voice coil at four ohms. We're gonna be putting in this Sony amp. Just trying to find a good location to mount it. And then using the SoundQuest wiring kit, budget friendly, pick this up. It was actually about 25 bucks on Amazon, not too bad. Now, you're gonna have to check out part one of this install. I'll post that link for you of how to actually pull apart the dash which we already have, pulled the radio out. In part two, previously to this video, we put in steering wheel controls. Check that on out. Part three here, as we do the sub install, the reason I haven't put anything back together is because we want to hook up our RCAs for a signal to our amp to know what to play, as well as hook up the remote turn on wire so when the radio turns on, it turns on the amp. So here we are. I ran it down up underneath. The side panel just pops off. And then just tucked it up underneath the carpet. Pull back the carpet all the way. Came out here. You can see here. And we're just gonna use the tuck method. It's super simple. Just like that. Looks nice and clean. It's not gonna come out when you get it tucked up way up underneath there. I'm gonna do that all the way back the truck area all right so we got that all tucked in using the tech method made it all the way to this point now if it's easier to get underneath the seat if you grab right here it just pops up allowing you under seat access we're gonna run the the wire up underneath the seat and come out right by the amp because this is supplying the the signal wire as well as the remote turn on wire for the amp all right before I put this back together, put the uh, RCAs into the subwoofer out on the radio and the remote turn on wire, um, just depending on the radio you have. Um, on the Pioneer, it's a blue and white wire, just tapped into that. So good to go. I'm going to put everything back together here on the dash and move to the power wire. All right, so we pop this undercover down from underneath the dash because we need firewall access for this power cable. And see this little guy, this little hump? You may not have this installation mat, you may. But you pull a little hole, and right to the right of that is the that rubber grommet. As you can see there, we're gonna poke a hole through it. And typically I use a coat hanger to help pull the, the wire through, and I'll kind of show you how I do that. All right, so as you can see, I pushed the hanger right through that grommet. There's a really soft spot. You push it through and I kept feeding it through and it popped out right here, which is a perfect location. So this will help guide that power wire through the firewall. As we pull it, pull it through, we'll connect the power wire to the inside. And then I can adhere to this positive. I pulled off the cover already to the battery. And we'll get that all hooked up and show you how that works. All right, so I pulled it on through. Super easy as that. I just kind of taped it so it's nice and stiff. Um, put a little WD-40 on it so it's super slick as it slides through. And I just pulled on it. And sure enough, here we are. I'll probably pull on it. That's probably all the length we'll need. Um, we'll put the inline fuse right in here as well. But we'll route the wire along with the factory wiring. And then put the terminal on and we'll probably go right to that stud. Now from here on out, with this wire, we'll run it underneath these kickboards all the way to the back towards the amp into the truck. Okay, so zip tie the wire up and down. And go right there. Put the fuse in, and it'll sit right inside of this cover. So nice protected. <laughs> zip tied it up. We'll go right on that stud when I'm ready. So, super nice, we're clean, and that cover covers everything. So you'll see a little blue wire, but other than that, it's nice and stock and factory. 
So that's basically it under the hood. Next thing here is we're gonna run this wire along the kick panel to the back to the amp area. All right. So we've got the under panel all back together. There's just two bolts that hold this under panel. So that's all back up. Um, fed the power wire. Um, fed it down just into this kick panel. It's been tucking it way up so it sits on top of this wiring. And I'll work this all the way back to the trunk. All right, so everything's tucked up underneath. Wire, power wire comes out here. From our video number one, here's our back wire and our reverse wire trigger to the tail light. So I'll just kind of tuck that away. Um, when underneath this cross beam comes out right here, I got my power, my ground, my remote, which I taped to the RCA. I've got those all hooked up. Now, next thing here is we do need to actually put in the ground. Um, I just have it here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make our own ground, and this is over the frame, as you can see the uh, spot welds, and you can hear it. So that's a good area right along here. It's right over the frame, nice and solid. So we're gonna clean the paint off and we're gonna uh, create our own little ground there. All right, using the wire brush, clean off the paint there. Okay, there you go. Three heavy duty self tapper screws right over that cleaned off paint. That's not going anywhere. I mean, better scenario we find a bolt, but in this circumstance, it's worked okay for us. Um, everything's hooked up, so actually it's okay and safe right now to hook power up to the battery, uh, the power wire, and then the, uh, the amp should be all good to go. The last thing on the amp side is we need to hook up the speaker wire and run it to our sub. Now in the meantime, before we get all on that, get this all put back together. Actually, the cover goes right back on. We'll get everything zip tied and cleaned up nice. And then this will all just fold away and we'll clean up all this wire underneath the seat put the seat back in and we should be good to go all right so i got the the power wire all hooked up to the the positive on the battery so this cover now can go back on perfect okay good to go there back here on the amp bridge the two channels here on the at least on this one specifically um, positive negative right to the amp we've left plenty of speaker wire length in case he wants to put the box anywhere else but yeah there we go um, any questions about this install be sure to subscribe like and comment down below I'll get back to you as soon as I can thanks for watching